In order to accomplish this type of application, we recommend a power backpack sprayer, which is capable of delivering droplets in the range of 50 to 150 microns. The reason we want to use that range is that larger drops will not give you the kind of coverage that the small drops give you, and they will tend to fall vertically and not drift into the containers. Smaller drops, less than 50 microns, will tend to drift away on the wind and, and go up into the atmosphere and not reach the containers. For this application, we recommend using the Still SR450 Power Backpack Sprayer or the Still SR430 Power Backpack Sprayer. When using the Still, we recommend that you install the auxiliary pressure pump, which comes as a separate kit and is installed behind the back pad of the equipment in order to deliver a continuous pressure to the, uh, to the nozzle. With this setup, we also recommend using this auxiliary filter. The filter installs into this manifold which sits just below the tank. And it, it simply sets in and snaps into the manifold. Then the tank can be set on top and latched down onto the equipment. In order to achieve the right flow rate and droplet spectrum, we recommend using the gray ULV nozzle set on 0.8. When the still SR450 or 430 comes from the factory, it arrives with the standard orange spray nozzle installed. You will need to replace the standard orange spray nozzle with the gray ULV nozzle. These nozzles are easy to replace. They're replaced simply by removing the orange nozzle and then inserting the new nozzle into the receptacle. And then it's important to press down very hard on the nozzle until it clicks. Once it's clicked, it's properly seated and the O-ring will, will be in its proper place and, and prevent any leakage. Then, then the nozzle needs to be adjusted with the 0.8 setting to the forward mark on the spray wand. The Still SR450, with the auxiliary pump installed, the filter, and the ULV nozzle set on 0.8, should deliver your Vectoback WDG spray mix in the range of 400 milliliters per minute. We find that generally this results in an application rate on average of about three gallons per acre. We need to add some fuel to the backpack sprayer. Uh, the still instructs you to use a 50 to one fuel mix. You can either buy a ready-made 50 to one fuel mix or you can uh, buy two stroke oil and prepare it yourself. The fuel tank is down here on the bottom. We're using a funnel because it's a little tricky to get uh, the, the nozzle of a tank like this in here. You don't want to overfill it because uh, that just makes a mess and creates a hazard. So we're probably good right there for the spraying we're gonna do today. It's important when you set up the Still SR450 backpack to make sure that you have the tank positioned for liquid spray as opposed to granular spray. Now that's really not necessary with the SR430. So we remove the tank and on the underside of the tank, we can see that there is an opening like this. This opening needs to be positioned directly above the filter, not above the port, which is here for the granular type of application. So we want to have the, this opening matched up to this port. Position it. One thing that's also important to pay attention to is the controls of the SR450 backpack sprayer. There is the granular opening nozzle, which should always be in the vertical closed position. There is the throttle, which whenever you're spraying should always be in the full on and, and lock position. And then your liquid flow is turned on and off by actuating this lever here with your thumb.